I stand behind this, that everyone on this planet has done something in their lifetime to potentially be canceled for. The difference between me and you and Joe Schmo walking down the sidewalk and these celebrities and people who are in the limelight is that we aren't in the limelight. People aren't trying to dig up every little thing we've ever said in our past, every little thing we've ever posted, every little thing we've ever thought, said, or done. I feel like every person on this planet, if they were thrown into fame right now Mm -hmm. and people dug into their lives the way that they dig into these celebrities' lives, everyone would have at least one thing to be canceled for. You cannot expect a human being to never mess up, to never make a mistake, exactly. to never say anything that comes off wrong or sounds wrong. To ne- You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. can't expect that. And the fact that it is expected of these people and the moment they trip up a little bit, cancel them. Let me say this. I think some of it is deserved. Some of these people are in these high positions or have these platforms and they're not good people or they don't do good things. They say terrible things. They're not using their platforms well. Some people absolutely deserve to be canceled. But then there are those people who it's just like the mob comes out, you know, Mm -hmm. one little thing, one little mistake you make and it's like cancel them. I'm not about cancel culture. I'm definitely about call out culture. Mm -hmm. Call out everybody. Right. If you're doing something crazy or behind the scenes doing shady stuff and your behavior needs to be magnified. Call it out. Yeah, I call like it that. out. I like that. Call it out. That's fine. I don't mind people who call people out. I prefer that. That's the point in time we're at where everything needs to be kind of called out. That's mm-hmm. how we change or fix it or whatever. Especially people that are on the same side and want mm-hmm. the same things and are trying to move toward the same goal. It's problematic to be attacking each other within, you know, it's like we're all moving toward the same goal. Now, you might not agree how to get from A to Z. My way of getting from A to Z might be different from your way of getting from A to Z. But we don't have to fight each other. We can figure Mm. out how to make it work so that no matter what, we're getting from A to Z. Mm. But there's too much of this like they don't want to do it the way I want to do it. So I cancel them cancel them right. they're you know it's like hold on a second like or i thought we were on the same side <laughs> instead of criticizing how other people are doing things i think that's the biggest thing that irritates me and you and you know me and you always have these conversations don't tell me i'm doing something wrong unless you're then gonna follow it with how i could be doing it right or a way that it can be done right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Don't say, hey, you're painting that wall wrong, mystery girl. But then that's it. You and just you tell me I'm away. painting and you walk <laughs> away. It's like, okay, tell me I'm painting the wall wrong. Then come over next to me, pick up a paintbrush and show me how to paint the wall right. 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 You know, don't, don't stand there. And cr- and if you're not going to help, then keep your comments to yourself. Because I just feel like you're adding to the noise, but you're not adding to the solution. Right, right, right. right. You know? What's the point of adding to the noise, adding to the problem, but you're not going to then give input into the solution?